and welcome back to the Word Conscious Classroom, where we are consciously and deliberately building our students' vocabulary knowledge and word consciousness. Today, we are looking at clipped words. Clipped words are long words that have been shortened by common use. So some examples of clipped words, we have hamburger. Instead of saying hamburger, some just say burger. So that's a clipped word. And we have umpire. Instead of saying umpire, some just say ump, making it a clipped word. The very famous one, gymnasium. Instead of saying gymnasium, some just say gym, making it a clipped word. This might be your favorite subject. Mathematics. Instead of saying mathematics, some just say math or maths, plural. That's a clipped word. How about this one? Instead of saying champion, some could just say champ. You are a champ, making that a clipped word. I'm sure you've heard of this word. Influenza. Instead of saying the whole word influenza, we clip two parts of the word. We clip off the N and the enza, and we keep flu. So flu comes from influenza. Next, we have airplane. We clip off air, we get plane. Now this next word is a long one. We say condominium, a condominium. Instead of calling it a condominium, we just say condo, the condo. Now, here's a favorite. We have refrigerator. And instead of saying refrigerator, we clip off the re and the uh, orator and keep fridge but we don't spell fridge that way. If you wanted to use the clipped word fridge, you would spell it with a D-G-E because the J sound has to be spelled with a D-G-E spelling. Now we have delicatessen. And a delicatessen can be clipped to deli. And there you have it. We just looked at a set of clipped words. And we said clipped words are long words that have been shortened by common use. So the more we use the word, instead of saying the whole thing, we might take a shortcut. So you can also take a shortcut in your writing. If you don't wanna write out the whole word, you can write the clipped word and your audience will still know what you're talking about. Well, that ends our lesson for today.